Hello, everybody. The Spell Tower. And we are playing... I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Anyways, we're playing some more story mode in Mortal Kombat 1, and uh, we're ch focusing on chapters uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and uh, I'm going to have it just start start off a, just a little bit before. So yeah, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it. And I know I'm 30 minutes late going live. I'm sorry. I caught up eating dinner, doing laundry. In common. We both feel the pull of Liu Kang's leash. Once Outworld Chapter moves Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen. We must stop them. Not Silence, Kui Liang. But brother, obey your grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. He built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. Young dead dragon army. Impressive. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court. of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. Behan! Really, Behan? Easily persuaded by the Eva side could you? Father would turn in his grave if he saw this! He was a doddering old fool! He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you tried to save him! A lie. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. <laughs> Still right there. Or General Shadow. I did not look up spoilers for this, but um, 
I was able to divide the chapters up because um, I was told there's 15, like, I saw there's 15 chapters in the story mode, so I just figured I'd do, you know, four, yeah, four, and then, you know, yeah, keep doing four each, and then the last video, it'll be three chapters, but, you know, it'll be a finale and stuff, so, I, I'm aware of that, but I haven't seen any spoilers, so, let's get to it. Spirit. Neither of you are up to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape. So you've declined Shang Tsung's offer. I assume your brother has not. The sorcerer tempted him into forsaking his oath. He can be convincing, can't he? Spurning him is a grave mistake. Fight! Thank <laughs> you. 
if I mentioned this before, but yeah, I know there's no interactables in the backgrounds now. is yours, Outworlder. What have you done? Quay's flame is not easily smothered. Splitter! We must find him! What happened? Where's Bihan? He's betrayed us. We're all in imminent danger. Letting father die. Forsaking Earthrealm? He's abandoned all reason! I knew Bihan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes, I am with you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Do your oaths mean nothing? It's your duty to obey my will. Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition!
back. This is my fight. Will and can embrace the boy future. Boy I want no part of it. However you pronounce it. All that it means to be Lee Quay. However you pronounce the name. No matter what time frame, he can never get away from getting that scar. It is interesting seeing Scorpion now with that, uh, with the scar. my grandmaster no longer what are you doing once he's exposed won't you be made grandmaster you forget cyrax and sector their loyalty to bihan is absolute they'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me we must chart a new course one that both honors our father's legacy and serves earth realm help me we can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. Well, is there? Well, is there taking him with them? How did you achieve this, sorcerer? Arrived not a moment too soon, Gyrus. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Shang Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Gears? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently with ours. Two timelines, side by side, moving forward simultaneously? Hmm. Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Hmm. And who she is, why she's here, where she's from. All questions we need answered, which we can't while we are under attack. I will go to Sindel, convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. Chapter 10, Protect and Serve. Leave it.
Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on her throne. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? The Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death. The pain it caused Empress Sindel has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, he inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone could save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Driver, what is it? I may need that aid right now. Mm -hmm. Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the general, Reiko. Nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. You should have joined us. Not the constabulary. We could have used your own gaudy skills. Enough. I've no use for a traitor's compliments. Fight. No.
and your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. It's like, what did that do in this timeline? Word of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. Uh, fight! <laughs> I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. You know who I am. Of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome. But in my heart, I am still Umgadi. I will always honor my vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? I tied her up. Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. <laughs> No, daughter. Your condition. Your faithlessness astounds, Li Mei. How can you side with Earthrealm against us? I'm acting for your family's benefit and for Outworlds. If you took a moment, you'd realize it. Fight!
Now I feel on the score. <laughs> You must be smarter, Princess. No, Melina. I forbid it. I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. I remember teaching you that, Princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. <laughs> Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Fight! She got exposed. Hey, she's back on her own children now. Saturated, Luke. Victims of us all. <sighs> Praise Argus. Thank you. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. 
Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Oh. How could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to for indulge in such Sindo. depravity. For General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a Titan, and the Keeper of Time. This is Gyrus. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Gyrus is the Guardian of the Hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence. Which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design. The others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. You, Sindel, were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. Flash when I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Xiao, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad, I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. Dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? 
Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, Shinnok's an amulet. Anyone. Stay back. What is it? The amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, Prattle! You both bend a knee to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle, not train with my weapons? I am more than prepared. <laughs> So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally with you blood-sucking fiends. Fight. than Shang Tsung's monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters, they are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. Sacrificing it in his service would be an honor. Fight. Did y'all see the, sub the subtitles from she, or the last thing she said? It was like all coded. Yeah! <laughs> 
Your rebellion is doomed. Your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. Shang Tsung's taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. Fight. Whatever you say. <laughs> Forever dead to me. Your reign is over, Sindel. I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. Fight! Ouch. name will be forever Relieved, General. The amulet, Your Majesty. I hate to disrupt, but we must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, Your Majesty. It is the request of a friend.
chapter 12, Queen's Gambit, Melina. We are ready. And the Soul Stealers. Keep them running. I am sure we'll find a use for the collected souls. Yeah, I guarantee they definitely want to explore uh, like the Deadly Alliance again, for sure. I mean, not like not like a remake of the game or anything, but you know, just the relationship. With the game, things like the Dang. Wonder what Scorpion Smoke did with Sub Zero. No. Those are the General's most loyal lieutenants. They must be neutralized if we are to shut down the Soul Stealers. Yes, they do. We should split up. Closer, and you'll feel the points of my blade. We are many. You are one. Your souls will become part of our collection. Fight. Amazing, Melina. In another life, you could have been Ungadi. <laughs> I prefer this one, dearest Tanya. We must 
leave. Quickly. Melina, wait. Father? That's right. Father, is it truly you? King Jared Ermac. Yes, Melina. This body was created from the living forest souls. Mine was one of them. Your attack broke the spell that binds us. Now, I am in control. Father! You are Umgadi, but not Li Mei. I replaced her after your death, your majesty. She left the order rather than accept punishment. Punishment? It was not her fault. A discussion for another time, father. We must go. Greetings, Jared. Liu Kang, my friend. We meet again. It is good to have you back. We once again find ourselves in challenging circumstances. And once again, we will prevail. As always, Sindel, I am yours to command. That's what's up. That they're unaware that the soul stealers are shut down. We are deep within the mountain. From here, they couldn't tell. Look at them conspiring. It is history we should not be repeating. We must take the crown. Without it, he can't raise more warriors. Our odds will improve if we can surround them. I'll distract them while the rest of you get into position. Leave it to me, Mother. Princess Molina. I bring news from Outworld. Sindel is deposed. General Shao now rules. And yet you are still free. To succeed, the General needed help on the inside. I provided it. The heir to the throne gives it up willingly. <laughs> it is a burden I've never wanted. The realm is better left in General... Uh, Emperor Shao's hands. A most mature perspective. Outworld benefits from your wisdom. Yes, He looks so. suspicious, like... It does. But not in the manner that you expect. an impressive display of guile. Who knew she was so capable? You count yourselves among my doubters? I will count you among the dead. Fight!
There will be consequences for forsaking Outworld. Thanks to the princess, this fight is ended. The fight, not the battle. True. Until your benefactor is caught, the realms remain threatened. Who is she, sorcerer? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Liu Kang. Meet Damashi. Damashi? Her deception. Okay. You are the no. victim of deception, sorcerer. You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you are me. A poor facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Wait. Liu Kang. It turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. In the other, it was you. Both endings are real. It was eons From before Afterlife. I discovered this. Or Aftermath. Once I did, I knew the path no. forward. I took this form and infiltrated your timeline. I elevated these wretches, giving them great power. Together, they sowed discord among the realms and assembled for me the Dragon Army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline, and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter? You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose served. You will be sacrificed. We served you loyally. Built you the Dragon Crown. This? This is a toy. I do not need it to control the Dragon Army. Only the souls contained within. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. Harris and Evil Sidel. Dark Raiden at the it back. It appears our interests align. For now. Know that I trust neither of you. I will finish you both at the first hint of treachery. <laughs> Serves no purpose. Hey. This timeline will be destroyed. Fight! Hey, he's back. Like the original Raiden voice and everything. I want the Dark Raiden as an unlocked costume. That was a huge plot twist, though.
No, we're not repeating this. Nope. We're not repeating a Mortal Kombat 9. Your tenacity is to be admired. Until our last breaths are taken, as long as blood flows through our veins, we are not beaten. <laughs> Noble sentiments, which in the end matter little. None of you will leave here alive. <laughs> Lose her mother. If my mother dies, she won't be the only sin down to perish. Fight. You can't go. Not yet. It's my time, dear. At least we had a few hours more. I will cherish them. Mother. You are now Empress. Rule well. I will, Mother. Father and Katana will help me. your mother's soul it resides within me she is safe hurry everyone we must withdraw
To move an army that large among realms, he'll need a portal, yes? More than one. You will need a nexus of portal gateways. It must be nearby. We follow them, they will lead us to it. Agreed. But we cannot strike until Raiden and Kung Lao arrive. That the Lin Kuei won't aid us is unforgivable. Bihan has corrupted them totally. When this crisis ends, we will deal with that one. This is but the opening battle in a longer war. Titan Shang Tsung has prepared his entire timeline for it. We cannot match its strength. My counterpart said that your battle with him ripped time's fabric, creating two timelines. But how do we know that it wasn't torn further? If there are two timelines, can't there be more? Why the thought experiment, Sorcerer? You said we lack strength. We might find it in other timelines. How would we do that? We gather allies from across timelines. Other Titans to build an overwhelming force. If they exist. We have no proof that they do. We must fight the battle in front of us. We can't stake our survival on pure conjecture. If Liu Kang is right, the battle in front of us is already lost. This may be our only hope. Giris, your thoughts? It is possible. But as I am only the Hourglass's steward, such a search is beyond me. It can only be undertaken by the Keeper of Time. And I no longer wield that power. You may be able to regain it. What? How do you mean? When you gave up control of the Hourglass, I worried that one day you would find you needed it. So rather than let your power dissipate, I collected it. To this day, it remains safely stored. Why did you never tell me this? Because the process of restoring your power is likely irreversible. Returning to the life you have now, as Earthrealm's protector, a life you cherish, may be impossible. And you did not want me tempted to make that sacrifice. Unless it was absolutely necessary. Correct. Thank you, Giris. You have saved us with your wisdom. Now, where have you stored my power? We must retrieve it. It is at the Fire Temple, stored in the Jade Jaguar gifted to you by the great Kung Lao. Yes, Giris. Liu Kang has proven more resilient than anticipated. He and his comrades have escaped the fortress. Forget the others. Find Liu Kang. He alone threatens my plans. You could have picked no better vessel to store my power, Giris. I have always treasured the great Kung Lao's gift. It reminds me of his meticulous nature, and his generous heart. Once we retrieve the Jade Jaguar, we will proceed to the Hourglass. There, we will transfer the temporal power stored within it to you. It now occurs to me that all along, you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become Keeper of Time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Giras. Now, this process you propose... I'm not used to Giras being sure like a real good guy power. this time. As sure as I can be of one that has been neither tried nor tested. But even if successful, it is not guaranteed that you will find any other timelines or allies. They may not exist. <sighs> I pray this is not a fool's errand. I hate leaving the others behind. Your champions will bolster their strength against the dragon army. It is sure to be the mother of all battles. May the Elder Gods protect them.
<laughs> the next one is Chapter 13, Deadly Alliance. Shang Tsung. This will be interesting. All right, everybody. This will conclude this video of the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. I uh, definitely hope y'all enjoyed that. And, mm, man, the next part, yeah, will definitely uh, be the rest of the story for sure. But anyways, everybody, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. And if you haven't, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. As always, I'm Bell Tower. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, stay golden.